What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this finally Friday. I've got the weekend going on here. Uh, it is about 11.45 a.m. here along the west coast in California. What do we got going on? Latest earthquake looks like a two, actually a 3.2 earthquake up on the globe. Latest quake there on the map. I kind of want to get into some space weather activity first. I've seen a couple M flares kicking up overnight. Let's go ahead and bring this up from a uh, sunspot that's kind of departing the western limb or heading towards the western limb here. That's going to be 3098. A couple uh, M flares overnight from this one. Let's go ahead and check out some specific details here about it. Uh, not any huge, well, almost into the X flare category. See that? An M7, uh, looks like M7, M8 area kicking up uh, overnight. That was subsequently followed up by another strong M flare. Um, any CMEs that were produced, or if they were produced at all, they would be uh, well uh, directed away from the Earth because 3098 is uh, not facing us. And again, it's on the northwestern limb here, towards the western limb of the, of the sun. And the latest imagery uh, looks like it's almost just about out of view. Uh, the Earth side does have a couple sunspots, and uh, this is the old sunspot region, 3088, now renamed, and a couple other uh, sunspots here. Uh, this one down here, it looks like it is growing a little bit. We'll have to watch all three of these uh, over the next 24, 48 hours while they're facing Earth, see if they develop into anything uh, more spectacular. Uh, 3098 still harbors, uh, looks like a beta gamma class, 90% uh, chance for C flare, M flare at 30, X flare around 5%. Uh, looking at these regional sunspots last night, uh, didn't look all that active. Uh, as far as uh, potentially producing any type of M flare activity. So kind of uh, surprised by that. There is one image there from uh, AR 3098 of the 7.9 M flare. Beautiful feature, a very strong. Uh, again, and almost up there around the X flare category, but uh, directed away from Earth and uh, not gonna provide us with anything other than the, that radio blackout that was kind of occurring earlier this morning from these two M flares. Uh, there's also some proton events kicking up. Notice the polar regions having some, uh, some uh, absorption up there from the uh, charged particles. Let's see what else we got. Um, the three day right now looks like a little bit of elevated chance of some uh, storming conditions up at the higher latitudes, but this is from uh, the coronal hole that had been facing us, number 23, uh, which is now the latest imagery, heading further and further off to the western limb here of the sun, and um, it doesn't look like it's really hitting us at all in the data, as far as the KP indexes go. Uh, things look pretty green across the board, but they are still calling for a little bit of elevated threat there from a potential um, wind stream from that uh, coronal hole but things look stable here uh, pretty decent across the maps on the uh, areas of the the solar weather activity all right uh, let's see earthquake activity make sure we got the latest quake here from the usgs what do we got well overnight uh, did see some activity kind of kicking up here around the papua new guinea area once again this area right around the uh, 7.6 areas where this uh, aftershock activity is occurring. 5.2 and a 4.9 in that region. We have seen a little bit of uh, back building of pressure out here around the Solomon Islands. That's an area to watch pretty closely uh, because it really hasn't been hit all that hard uh, in recent weeks. Uh, and then also a 4.6 in the Vanuatu area. Of course, this area did see some further movement. Um, somewhat on the larger scale, uh, yesterday, Early yesterday, actually it was uh, almost about two days ago now. They've seen that 7.0 south of the uh, Vanuatu area. Uh, back to the map here. Some Not a whole lot going on through the uh, Kermadec Trench here, according to the USGS, but uh, EMSC models are in disagreement with their data. Uh, there's definitely some activity kicking up here along the Kermadec Trench. Let's go ahead and check these guys out real quick. Not for sure why the USGS is skipping that area because it is a pretty important area uh, for earthquake activity. Um, did have a 3.1, 3.3, and a couple fours in there into the southern end of the Java Trench or the uh, Kermadec Trench area. 
So that's uh, for some reason not being listed up here on the USGS map. Uh, the majority of the activity is a uh, pretty good swarm around the uh, just the south of the Philippines area. Seen some of that activity here on the USGS map. Remember, this is 4.0 and above. Got a 4.6 Indonesia region and a 4.5 as well overnight. Mariana Trench as well, showing a little bit of movement here uh, near the Mic Micronesia area, 5.1. Looks like uh, that one pretty shallow though, uh, just outside of Guam at the very, kind of like at the southern end of the Mariana Trench. So watching that pretty closely. Nothing going on up here along the, Kerm the uh, Kuro Kamchaka Trench. See if I can get my subduction zones right today. And uh, Japan looks pretty quiet as well. Further west, some movement last night around the uh, India area. That was a 5.0 uh, this morning as well near Yemen, Yemen off the coast here. 4.8. Aside from that, Atlantic's pretty quiet. South America still just some spotty activity. Uh, same for the Middle America trench regions. Just a couple of small fours in that mix. And the big island out here, not a whole lot going on. 16 earthquakes, nothing within the last hour. And uh, only a handful of those above the 2.5 threshold. No major unrest or, uh, well, there's continual activity there at Kilauea, but uh, uh, no major changes there at the volcanoes. West Coast up here into Washington, getting a little earthquake activity down deep into the subduction zone up here. That is the Cascadia that sits offshore. Underneath the Washington area, seen a 1.2 at 33 kilometers and 24 kilometers for a 0.9. Nothing big, but uh, definitely some microquake activity up there. Um, also around Mount Hood, a couple small microquakes today, it looks like, right around the summit area. And Northern California, uh, let's see what we had overnight. Looks like we had another earthquake there around the uh, Mendocino Triple Point Junction here at the very southern end of the Cascadia. 2.3 at 15 kilometers and some other scattered small quakes throughout the northern california region uh, looking at the rest of the map here uh, things look pretty spotty uh, at least here for central california yes there is some activity along the creeping section but that's very common ridgecrest is very spotty here today not a whole lot going on southern california is the kind of the hot spot here lighting up within the last hour just off the san jacinto fault zone uh, in between the Els Elsinore Fault and the San Jacinto Fault zone there. Uh, a couple earthquakes kicking up there in the mountains, it looks like. Um, just some very small microquakes there, but uh, either way, kind of lighten up there a little bit. The southern end of the San Andreas Fault looks pretty quiet right now. Not a whole lot popping off there. And as we go inland, uh, just some minimal activity at best. Not a whole lot of renewed movement across the country. One earthquake there in the New Madrid zone last night. A little 2.3. Yellowstone. Uh, well, let's go ahead and check out the latest Yellowstone map here on the seismograph stations. And uh, there's not a whole lot going on. A couple small microquakes overnight in this morning time frame, but uh, things are just kind of uh, very typical there at the super volcano. Again, no major unrest or any unusual activity to report there. All right, folks, uh, I'm going to make it a short update today. It is Friday. I have, uh, man, I have a lot of schoolwork I got to get done here early. And I uh, might barbecue a little bit later on today as well. So got to get busy, busy so I can enjoy the weekend without uh, trying to catch up on a bunch of lectures and schoolwork and quizzes and all that stuff. So we'll chat you guys a little bit later on tonight with the uh, complete update. And we'll recognize our new members out there. Seen uh, oh, about eight or ten new channel members here onto the uh, Earthmaster channel. So we appreciate those folks joining. Uh, we did, hell, we did um, have our drawing yesterday for the channel members only. And congrats to the Bash Mode. Uh, they got a uh, Earthmaster shirt. They picked one and uh, uh, that's what they wanted. So that's pretty awesome. Congrats again to uh, Debash Mode, and we do monthly drawings uh, for the members every month, and it's kind of mix it up and make it uh, a little bit different each month far as the prizes go. But uh, we'll do another one next month, and uh, maybe we'll have more members in there. It's already looking that way. So, all right, guys, have a good day. We'll chat you a little bit later tonight with the update video. Peace out.